pi, looking at number 24, we want to show that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2 in, in this figure below. Um, we can't directly show um, angle 1 is congruent to angle 2 by anything we know about triangle EBC. So the plan would be to show that these two triangles ABE and DCE are congruent and then maybe use some of the corresponding parts to show that angle 1 and angle 2 are congruent. So let's look at a way that we can show uh, angle triangle ABE and DCE are congruent. Um, we have two angles in a non-included side congruent to two angles in a non-included side of another triangle. So by the um, angle angle side uh, postulate, or that's a theorem, by the angle angle side theorem, we know that these two triangles are congruent, which means corresponding parts are congruent. So we can say um, that uh, this angle here is congruent to this angle here. All right. Now, as I was saying that, um, I just noticed, you know, we also could have not even used angle, angle, side. We, we have two angles of one triangle congruent to two angles of another triangle. So I can conclude that this angle is congru congruent to this angle. The reason I want to show that these angles are congruent is because notice this angle and this angle, they're a linear pair. They're supplementary. This angle and this angle, they're supplementary. They both add up to 180. Okay. So this angle measurement is the same as this angle measurement. So angle 1 and angle 2 must be congruent. All right. Um, and that means angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary to the same angle measurement. And if they're supplementary to the ang same angle measurement, they must be congruent. For example, if this is 100 and this is 100, then angle 1 and 2 are both 80. Okay, so we said we proved these two triangles are congruent by angle, angle, side. And then by CPCTC, this angle must be congruent to this angle. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And then we notice 1 and 2 are supplementary to the same angle measurement, so they must be congruent. All right, an alternative would be to notice that, okay, if these triangles are congruent by angle, angle, side, or angle, side, angle, then these corresponding parts are congruent. B, segment BE and segment CE. So then we have an isosceles triangle. And because we know that with an isosceles triangle, base angles are congruent. And so angle 1 and angle 2 are congruent. So there's several different ways we could have gone um, to get that. Let me erase that. So yucky looking. i got to just erase it. Okay. So that's number uh, 24. We were uh, using what we know how to, you know, using the ability to be able to prove con congruent triangles or triangles congruent and then knowing that uh, you know corresponding parts are congruent and then using that to come to our final conclusion